Now let's prove Farkas's lemma. That is, given any real M by N matrix A, the system of N qualities AX is equal to B, such that X, all components of X are bigger than or equal to zero. That system has a solution for the, F, the vector X, if and only if, for every U and RM, if A transpose U has all components bigger than or equal to zero, then B transpose U is also bigger than zero, bigger than or equal to zero. Let's have a look at the proof. It goes via some standard but deep linear programming results to do with the primal and dual in linear programming. So let's introduce the primal P that we're going to talk about, and that is, let's get it right, maximize Z is equal to zero transposed X, it's particularly simple maximization. That's maximize over X, such that AX is equal to B, with X being bigger than or equal to zero. And the dual is D, is minimize over variable vector U, W, which is B transposed times U, such that A transposed U is bigger than or equal to zero. And we do this because um, for such linear programs, the primal and the dual, recall two facts that if the primal P has an optimal, or I should say prim primal P has an optimal solution if and only if the dual D has an optimal solution, and we'll use that. And the second property that we will use is that um, for all feasible points in the primal and the dual, those feasible points, the objective W in the dual is bigger than or equal to the objective Z in the primal. Right, so C in the standard linear program in courses for that. Now, how will we do it? We've got to prove this if and only if, so we'll do that both ways. Firstly, let's do it forward. And we're given this condition, that AX is equal to B, X bigger than or equal to zero, has a solution. All right, what can we deduce from that? Well, it means there is a feasible point to the primal. There exists a feasible point X to P. Um, and in fact, all such feasible points are optimal because the objective function is particularly simple, namely 0 times X. Now, since there is a feasible point to the primal, it must be that there is a 
feasible point to the dual. And we know that W is B transposed to U by the definition of what we're minimising in the dual. But now comes the sneaky bit. We also know that W is bigger than or equal to Z. And we know that the optimal Z is just zero. So we know W is bigger than or equal to zero, and um, but W is B transpose U, so that necessarily implies that B transpose U is bigger than or equal to zero. And hence, this second condition follows. We've found that all points satisfying this have to also satisfy that. Now let's complete the proof of Farkas's lemma by proving the reverse implication. That is, given uh, this statement here, we'll establish that there's always a solution to AX is equal to B for X bigger than or equal to zero. Okay, so we'll start doing that with the observation that since U is equal to zero, satisfies the constraints, the dual, uh, the dual has a feasible point, namely at least u is equal to zero. Now, so we can talk about feasible points. So now for every feasible point in the dual, we know that A transposed U is bigger than or equal to zero. But now, remember we're going from this statement backwards, and this statement says if ever A transposed U is bigger than or equal to zero, then it follows that B transpose U is bigger than or equal to zero. <coughs> By you know, that condition that we're working from. So what does that mean? Well, it means that W, which is B transpose U, is bigger than or equal to zero for all feasible points U. So that says W is bounded below. And we're doing a minimization problem. So, and since it's bounded below, that says that the dual has an optimum solution. All right, now we appeal back to this property of primals and duals. So if the dual has an optimal solution, then the primal also has to have an optimal solution. So P. Has an optimal solution, X star. But if it's got an optimal solution, that means it's got to have some feasible solutions. Some feasible points. So P has at least one feasible point. And what does that say? It says there exists an X which satisfies the constraints. There is an X such that 
AX is equal to B, and all the components of X are bigger than or equal to zero, because they're the constraints, and that's uh, this condition that we need to prove. Hence, Farkas's lemma holds.